What is up guys? Today I'm gonna to be giving everyone a tour of my first retail location here in Montgomery, Alabama. We repair cell phones, computers, tablets, laptops, pretty much anything that has a power plug, gaming consoles. If it's broke, we can probably fix it. Bring it by the store if you guys are ever around. Let's get into the actual tour. I want to start with the wall of shame. I'm going to flip the camera around so you guys can kind of see it better. But uh, this is our famous wall of shame. We put um, pretty much all of the screens on here that we've done that weren't able to be recycled. Um, the screens that are on here were basically so bad that we couldn't send them off to be recycled. And some of them you can tell were just literally ran over by cars or dropped off the top of a mountain or, you know, went to the bottom of Lake Martin or the ocean. So there's some pretty cool stories behind all the screen replacements. And we kind of like to put them up on the wall just to show people how many replacements we've done and that we are kind of a legit business. So these are the products that we like to sell. Um, we keep products on our store online, but we also sell products directly in our store location. We have cases for the iPhones. We have cases for Samsungs, chargers, we've got wireless charging pads, we've got earbuds, we've got wireless charging headphones, we've got pop sockets, these are really popular. And this is kind of our seating area. Customers typically come in, uh, walk in through the door, they uh, fill out paperwork up here, kind of check in, let us know what they're fixing, what they're getting fixed, and then they come here, sit down, kind of have some leisure time while we're repairing the devices. So we also keep a TV. Uh, running pretty much at all times, either got news going on it, or if we're feeling really generous, we'll let the clients actually watch some Netflix or whatever their preferred TV show is. Right here, I actually keep an article that the local newspaper did of me. I was featured on the, uh, the front page for the Montgomery Advertiser, basically did a piece on me. Um, I was still in high school at that point, I was a senior. So, um, but yeah, it was pretty cool. I have that link um, online too, if you guys wanna check out that article. So let me guys show you guys what the checkout looks like. So a client comes in, obviously fills out our terms of agreement, and then they um, once we get done with the repair, they sit here and always they, they check out. We use the Cayenne Genius Acceptor, a credit card processing machine for pretty much all of our transactions because most people nowadays are obviously paying in credit card or debit card. Cool thing about this reader, is it does accept Apple Pay, which is pretty awesome because some people will forget their credit card, but they still have their phone, obviously, because we're working on it. So when we get it done with the repair, they can actually use their phone, their iPhone, or whatever to check out with, which is pretty awesome. So now I'll show you guys the back of the shop. This is where we actually do all of the repairs at. Um, this is where my technicians, as well as my, me and my business partner, we are typically working from, doing screen replacements, doing battery replacements, you know, micro soldering, whatever the day brings, whatever clients bring to us that day, is what we're doing in here. So this is um, uh, one of our main technician's desk workstations. So we keep these landline here, so when someone calls, we have another station over there to where that rings first, and if no one answers, then my other technician can pick up here, or if we have multiple people on the line. Um, using a landline, you can have multiple clients calling at the same time, which is great. So we have a custom built computer by the company. Uh, actually, I built this one down here. And um, that's what our techs use for uh, using our diagnostic tools and basically reporting. So this is another desk. Obviously we don't have a computer here, but typically this desk is used for um, just bigger projects, working on custom PCs, um, basically anything else that's too too big for this desk or just extra space or extra storage for one of those days when we get super, super busy. So this compartment back here is actually where we keep all of our screens um, and all the big parts that are too small to go on this shelf. So this compartment, we keep obviously LCDs, screen replacements, um, iPad screen replacements, iPhone screen replacements, Samsung screen replacements, the whole nine yards. We keep parts in hand because it's really important to have those parts uh, on hand for whenever a client comes into your store because in today's society, most people are very impatient and they don't want to have to wait three weeks to get their phone back or however long it takes for the parts to come in. They want to have them right then, right now. This is where we put on the tempered glass, um, our clear plex protection, um, anything else that's installed onto the screen or uh, cleaning, this is where we do it. 
we keep all of our cleaning supplies down here as well as extra parts. Um, and then this is actually the recycle boxes that we use. As you guys can tell, this was an iPhone 8 back that we ended up doing for a client. Switched out everything on the phone and gave them a completely brand new back. Um, this was an iPad screen replacement. And these are just tons and tons and tons of, of screen replacements and stuff that we've done for people. So we, we end up recycling them and sending them back off if we don't put them back on the wall of shame. We got the GT racer chair here, which is extremely comfortable. I'm pretty tall, so I like using this, this chair. And we have the micro soldering gear. So this is where the magic is done for logic boards. Um, we actually do a lot of rework and that includes like taking chips off motherboards, um, putting new chips on, cleaning, um, laying different, um, different jumper wires, uh, replacing faulty chips, etc. Um, and obviously we have space too here for the different types of screen replacements that we do. Um, looks like right there, working on an uh, iWatch. And then this is obviously the landline where when customers call, we pick up here and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then another custom built computer that we have here. And this is typically where I work. So, but yeah guys, my, um, my shop, we, we've been here for a couple months now. And uh, it's, it's growing great, man. December was our la our best month that we've ever had. We hit a little bit over 23,000, which is just incredible. Um, and being able to take my company from where it was four years ago, literally in my room at my desk with my computer and a few crappy tools to where it is now has been an absolutely incredible journey. So um, in the future, I'm looking to kind of document more of my, my journey as I take the company further and kind of help other entrepreneurs uh, get established in phone repair um, or other business pursuits, whether that's not phone repair, but just getting entrepreneurs out there and getting the information to them that they need. So thanks for, thanks for watching guys. It means a lot to me that you guys took the time out of your day to view this video. Um, if you would comment below if you want to see more and let me know what you want to see more of.